Hi, this is the third uh, development video for Ben Biblia, um, the VR um, Bible comic that I'll be um, working on for the next few months here. And um, I'm actually just picking up from where I last left off. Um, where I last left off is I was working on a tool and a bit of code here to help um, control the expressions on the characters themselves because that's going to be something that has to be conveyed quite easily uh, throughout development. Um, so the last time I was able to get an eyebrow moved I have just um, like the uh, concept, the idea of getting these bones to move in the face. Uh, the code actually was a lot more challenging than I expected it to be. I was like, oh yeah, I got this. This is easy. I just move one bone. Uh, but actually creating uh, the tool itself, making sure that I can reset some of the bones and do some other things was a little bit more effort. I did get everything working as I intended it to, uh, at least for the first iteration. Um, so what I'm showing here is that um, for the tool, in order for it to work, you have to go in and all of the uh, small bones in the face of the character have to be linked over into the tool. So you're probably seeing me right now just grabbing um, some of those bones and dragging the references of them um, over to the code, the tool on the right hand side. Now once I get through all of those bones and, and place them in place there, the code remembers um, all of those references. Um, so that the sliders below will work. So I'm going to show you uh, the sliders here um, and, and how they work. Um, so right now it's really impressive because um, just like what I was hoping for, all of these bones in the face actually do um, allow for a lot of creativity and the expression of the face itself. Um, I'm grabbing the inner eyebrows and I'm um, actually drooping them for example to give like an angry look. I'm going to do some basic things right now um, and I can create like a, a squint um, so there's some squint muscles in the face on both the left and right. I can bring some of the, uh, the muscles right under the eyelid to kind of gesture a little squint and show a little bit of that, that a, a mean sort of look in the face and the eyes. And uh, moving the eyes, the eyes can move the pupils, uh, move left and right, up and down. There's a control for everything. I hope I can organize this a little bit better so I can pinpoint which muscle I want to use. But everything for now is flawless. It's just as I would want it. Um, so you see I got kind of like a mean look. And it actually doesn't take too much to um, express an emotion. Um, and a complex emotion because there's about three different muscle points or three different bones in the eyebrow it really allows for um, a lot of control uh, instead of just putting the eyebrow up or down um, so I brightened up the scene here um, so that you can see what's going on um, but um, I'm going to go ahead let's go from that expression I'm going to reset all the bones and this also took some time can reset it right to its default and I'm going to try to go for a happy gesture really quick heighten the eyebrows I can match the eyebrows um, with the um, sliders here and get like a more happier approach the mouth had an impressive number of bones um, there's bones at the ends the corners of the mouth on the top side and on the bottom side so there's a lot of control um, and also in the jaw so it was definitely uh, I was pleased there with uh, the sense of emotion that can be conveyed um, so that's it um, good accomplishment I think for this week I got also a few other things done as well um, and I'll go ahead and um, I'll be showing that a little bit later I'm doing some 360 um, images and degrees uh, um, images that I'll be posting there um, a little bit later on so if you do have a VR headset or you have a phone that you use for virtual reality, you have the ability to actually immerse yourself in the environment that's in development right now. Um, so that's about it for now, uh, my weekly update there. Um, thanks for keeping in tune. Um, definitely want to say, you know, um, go ahead and uh, feel free to follow the, the page or my personal page, the YouTube, the Twitter. I'll, I'll be picking up the pace a lot more now for development work, and I got some larger news planned on in the future. So. Thank you again for keeping up and um, until next week or my next post.